story before the break about how his mom befriended Frank Sinatra's mom, Dolly Sinatra, yeah. while yeah. Uh, so he was anyway, in the uh, So we were in the Fountain Blue Hotel where he was headlining. And my mother was very aggressive, and she said, I'm going to go up, sweetheart, Donnie. She called me Donnie. Hmm. Aww. She said, uh, uh, uh. That's nice. <laughs> sure, it's easy for you to say. <laughs> she said, Donnie, darling, I'm going to go up and see Dolly Sinatra. I said, Ma, don't make a thing. Will you listen to me? I'm going to hand. Uh, you people must be Polish. You're facing the wall. <laughs> That's the band. Oh, oh, sorry. Anyway. <laughs> No, there's seats over there. They're all going, are, are they on? <laughs> Must be Polish. I know what I said. Anyway, uh, again with that bang, bang, bang. Get rid of that Jewish drummer. He must work the mountains. <laughs> Always get a Jewish drummer. Anyway, so, uh, so my, my mother went up there and she said, Dolly, Dolly, if you could come and see my son at a place called Murray Franklin's, it would be, oh, I can't. It's done, Edda. That was my mother's name, Edda. And it's done, don't worry, darling, done, done, done. Fast forward, I'm out in a club one night, and I'm going, you say you're ridiculous, and blah, 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 blah. And then walks Frank Sinatra with his friends, all scientists. <laughs> anyway, uh, oh, I you know those guys, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they think everything's at an airport. <laughs> <laughs> Planes going over always. <laughs> and they all talk the same way. Uh, how are you? That's from the gunpowder. They choke on gunpowder. <laughs> Oh, how are you? How are you? Anyway. <laughs> That's excellent. Um, yeah, sure. I did a couple of those jokes, and <laughs> thank God Frank laughed, otherwise I would have been on a Jerry Lewis telethon. <laughs> anyway. You notice when Jerry hits those high notes? Walk on, walk on. Yeah. Ever, ever, ever notice yes. that? And every time he starts to cry and he hits those high notes? Great. Uh, Jokes up right on cue. <laughs> Invariably. <laughs> anyway, so anyway, getting back to the other story. Um, what are you wearing your baseball cap? It's not a game. What are you What's going on? The guy's fixing his baseball cap like the crowd's looking at him. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so... <laughs> give me a minute. I like to say stuff that makes me laugh. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> you know, I don't... I don't, I don't if, after 50 years, I don't worry what you think. I know what I'm... I know what I'm... <laughs> right. In fact... I say to you, Bonnie, I did up in my room last night and laughed my ass off. Okay. <laughs> so, you're doing right, so the get back to Sinatra. So get and back you're to Sinatra. So, 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 and it's not dissolved. Uh, dissolved. In, in, in walks Frank Sinatra with, with the guys. And he walks in, and for some, no reason at all, I just turn around and say, Frank, be yourself. Stand up and hit somebody. <laughs> anyway, and the crowd did pretty much what you did. <laughs> They were all afraid they were going to wind up like this, you know. <laughs> and we became great friends. And ever, and ever since then, normally my big thrill was being at Ronald Reagan's inaugural with Frankie said to the cabinet, I'm going to have Rickles with me. They said, oh, you can't. He's going to make fun of the president. And I knew Ronald Reagan, rest his soul, pretty good. He said, no, no, no. You, he said, you don't, have, you don't have Rickles, you don't have me, which wow. I'll never forget that. And I walked out, and my opening line to the president in Kennedy Center, on as I walked out, I went, Mr. President, stop napping, I'm on, you know. <laughs> And he laughed, and two Secret Service guys went, mm. <laughs> Okay, now it's your turn. Oh. You know what I do find interesting, though? I think this is accurate. I remember you telling me that you originally started out in the business. You were going to be a dramatic actor. Yes. I... And you're a great actor, by the way. I mean, you... oh, gosh, so many great things, Well, Don. that's very sweet of you. I... I... I, I, I would have had a... a... Hopefully a bigger career. I, I graduated from the American Academy of Dramatic Arts, believe it or not. And if you saw me in those days, I was out of control. You know, in other words, I, I was uh, I was too hyper. A guy, Phil Loeb, was the director. In other words, when you walked into the room, as most actors do, they go, "How are you, Charlie?" I go, "Fine, fine. How are you?" You know, oh, and the actors dropped their pants and fired rockets. You know? <laughs> But, uh, they were, you know, I was over the top all the time, you know, so right. I, they, they controlled me. And then I worked with Clint Eastwood in a picture called Kelly's Ear Heroes mm -hmm. a long time ago. And, so great. And, 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 I have, and I have to be honest, I, I carried Clint. <laughs> uh, I told him that, and he's like Robert De Niro. Oh, really, really, really. <laughs> Yeah, eyes, they're, they're, yeah, but they're so emotional. Yeah, yeah. De Niro in Casino. Bob, how do you feel? Uh, uh, 20 minutes. I don't know if he's going to the bathroom or talking to you. <laughs> anyway, he's a great man, Bob De Niro. And, and, and but believe it or not, would you believe, Bonnie, in all the years we've known each other, when you first start out, ladies and gentlemen, I swear to God, first motion picture I ever did in my life 
was with uh, some of your young people, I hope you remember the name, was Clark Gable and Burt Lancaster in a, in, a, in a picture called Run Silent, Run Deep. First thing. And not to, get, not to get into impressions, but I went on the set and there was a work light, you know, a work light that's Bonnie and I. That's, they put a, a, one light on the stage when you read for the part and that's all you see and it's pitch dark. So we were on the set and I said, uh, they said, Mr. Rickles, just go on the stage and say, where are the sailors, where are the guns? That's all and we'll be fine. Mm -hmm. I said, gee, okay, that, that's all I got to say. Don't worry, that's all you have to say, Mr. Rickles. I said, will, will, will Clark, Abel, Clark Abel be there? No, 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 there's no Gable. You, 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 you sure there's no Clark Abel? No Clark Abel, don't worry about it. Just do your lines. Uh, roll up, okay. Where's the guns, where are the men? I take the men, the men down there. I, I, went, I, 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 I bet. And I became a spastic. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> No, that must have been something, Don. Yeah. I mean, as a young kid walking in and seeing those guys. Well, Don's been good to me. He's given me a lot of opportunities, and I mean that. And, and it's a pleasure to be with this lovely young girl, because we go way back. And uh, when I heard you had a show, I was a little annoyed because I didn't have one. <laughs> anyway, uh, no, that's a joke. Well, I'm so honored that you've been so supportive of me over the years and a good friend. And you and Barbara are incredibly kind, warm, mm. loving people that I'm lucky enough to know and call friends. Thank you. Thank you. memories, uh, enjoyment of for all of us. I mean, you are a part of the soundtrack of our lives, and that's for sure. Well, thank the you joyful so much. Part. Thank you so much. I all right, you guys, Don's new book, Rickles Letters, is in store now, is stores now, and Don will be performing, oh my gosh, of course, you're still doing these shows, at Borgata Hotel Casino on March 6th and 7th. I've seen Don live a million times. It is so worth it. You'll have the time of your life. Go to BonnieHunt.com for more information. Everybody in the audience is going home with this book today. <laughs>